Are you tired of manually creating class diagrams for your source code? Or having to use third-party tools to create those diagrams? As of release 2021A, a new feature, the MATLAB Class Diagram Viewer, has been introduced to enable class authors to visualize classes and their relationships in MATLAB. Let's look at how you can use the Class Diagram Viewer to visualize the classes under this folder. Electric Vehicle Components. The first thing you'll need to do is add the folder to the path. Right-click on the folder and then click on Add to Path. Once the folder is on the path, you can launch the class viewer from the command window using the command MATLAB Diagram Class Viewer and specifying the folder where your source code is located. There are several panes in the Class Viewer window to help you navigate through the source code. The Class Browser shows the Electric Vehicle Components folder and all the classes under it. The View Content pane shows all the classes that are currently displayed in the Class Diagram. The Class Diagram shows the relationships between the classes under Electric Vehicle Components folder. Let's look at how you can interact with the content in the class diagram. All class cards are currently collapsed. Let's expand the class cards to get more details on the properties and methods by clicking on Expand. Fit the diagram to view. Now you can see the list of class properties and methods in the diagram. You can zoom into the diagram to focus on a specific group of classes. You can use pan mode to move through the diagram window. Notice how different icons are used next to the properties to show different attributes. Private, protected, public class members do not have an icon. Let's zoom out by fitting the diagram to view again. Now let's look at the source code of a class. You can select a class in the canvas and click on Go to Source. This will open the MATLAB editor with the class definition for the selected class, Chassis. You can also filter out content from your class diagram. For example, you can select the Electric Vehicle Component class and remove it from the diagram by clicking on Remove. Notice how after doing this, all electric vehicle component subclasses now have a green plus sign. This indicates that a class has superclasses that can be expanded. If you click on the green plus sign for one of the classes, the electric vehicle component class will be brought back into the diagram. Once you're satisfied with your diagram, you can save it. There are a couple ways in which you can do this. You can save your diagram as an image by clicking on Export and choosing the format in which you want to save the diagram, PDF or PNG. You can also save the Class Viewer window if you want to preserve the interactive capabilities of the viewer by clicking on Save and choosing the location where you want to save the diagram. You will see a new file under Electric Vehicle Components folder, evclassdiagram.ml.x. If you double click on the file, the Class Viewer window will pop up again. You can also generate class diagrams for a project. Let's open the Times Table project. Once the project is open, you can launch the Class Diagram Viewer by going into the Project's tool strip and clicking on Class Diagram. This will open the Class Diagram Viewer, which will show you the Times Table Game class. Expand the class and then fit to view to get more details on its properties and methods. The MATLAB documentation for the Class Diagram Viewer has more resources and examples on how to access the tool and use it. This video has shown some of the ways in which you can launch the Class Diagram Viewer to explore an existing source code base that contains class structures.
You can interact with the class diagram to pan, zoom, filter out content, navigate to the source code of a class, and save the class diagram to share it with others.